Hey guys, here I am again, Lungala Rubadiri, aka Lunga, with another story for you. And this time, a story that I was blessed to uh, have shared with my parents in 2016 when I went to visit them in Malawi. And uh, what was funny about this is how much my dad laughed at the story. And I was like, what is so funny about this dad? But um, he, he said he didn't know that much about my my teen years and early adult years as pertained to to dating and that's what we're talking about dating and um i said wow dad you know yeah at 15 16 years of age dating was an issue because um i went to we lived at that time when i was in my early teen years we lived in kenya nairobi kenya i went to a boys school all boys and uh, many schools were for boys, some were for all girls, very few mixed schools. But um, as I was telling dad, not only were you in just, you know, an old boy, I was uh, in an old boy school, but there were no, we didn't have a phone at home. This is way before cell phones to begin with. Let's forget, we didn't even know they were about to get invented in the next, what, 20 years or whatever. So, um, <laughs> We pretty much had no phone at home. The nearest phone to our home was the payphone down the street. So you were limited to dating people in a contact group, which was very close to home. Your best friend's sister was your girlfriend. Um, the family that lived a few homes down, they knew your parents, so you spent time in their home. The younger you know sister of your friend there yeah but the idea of crossing town to date someone who's giving you bus fare to take two different bus rides to get no 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 no. and then there were others who lived in na neighborhoods that were not even serviced by public transport how how are you getting there so no keep it real keep it close to home and that's what happened so you 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 ended up dating people in your neighborhood and um, as a young 15, 16 year old, you know, I spent a lot of time at home with, you know, listening to songs by the Jacksons, whatever, Finland and Fire and all and dancing and whatever. And then mom would say, hey, get creative here, do something useful. Go to the grocery store and uh, buy milk and bread and um, sugar and uh, omo. That was the other one, soap. <laughs> so you were set with this little basket, uh, kikapu. It's a weaved basket and uh, in Swahili called kip, kip, kipapu. And uh, the funny thing is that basket always had faulty handles. You never got those right. They, and uh, whoever thought of fixing them. But anyway, uh, getting stuff into the basket and managing to carry them home when it was full was an act in and of itself. But that's a story for another day. But uh, going to the grocery store was really being sent to the local kiosk. It was a small little shop. Um, and, you know, it was no more than five minutes walk from home. But it was always that the kiosk in your particular neighborhood was more likely not on the actual asphalt road that went past your house, but on some offshoot road, uh, a dirt road that veered off, a narrow dirt road where had it rained a few days before, you'd be dealing with puddles and mud. It was... Um, narrow enough that even if cars drove along they were in such close proximity to those walking along the road that you felt you could reach inside and touch the the steering wheel of someone driving past you but um so as such a car would you know drive by while you're walking home with the groceries in the bag and um you saw this dad maneuvering through the potholes and and then mom, his, his wife next to him and three lovely kids in the back. And you looked in and you realized, whoa, that's a beautiful girl there in the back. And um, you, you kind of had that three seconds of eye contact. And I guess that was one second or two seconds too long for dad to be comfortable with. So the dad, you know, brings the car to the halt and he gives you this look. And even as you're walking on, he just stares at you. Puts the car back in first gear and he slowly drives on. 
Now that look is a look you never forget. You never forget. As the car starts driving on, you realize, wow, wow, that car. And you see the, new, the, the number plate. It starts with K, P, N. Wow, K, P, N. That looks like a vicious dad. Wow. And he is a vicious dad. Because that look told you, young man, Kijana. That girl you just looked at is my daughter. And next to her is my other daughter. At the back left is my son. Next to me is my wife. This is my family. Okay? Do not look at my Peugeot 504 ever again. In fact, you're just lucky to have seen us today. We don't live here. We pass through this little market here to buy bananas, to take to their grandmother. We're going to Athi River to see Shosho over there. We just happen to be passing through. Forget about us. You will never be related to us. Okay? You will never be my son-in-law. Take your kikapu and that change in your hand and take it back home to whoever sent you. Your mama. Quinda Uko. So that was the look. That was the message. It was layered. So anyway, the way life is funny, as I was telling that, it is so funny because maybe two, three years later, you know, you're now 17, 18, and, um, you know, you're at a friend's party, and in comes this beautiful girl, and you're thinking, wow, why does she look so familiar? Why does she look so familiar? Guess what? This is actually KPN's daughter. And you're thinking, whoa, okay, 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 put the brakes on. No, 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 no. But temptation is just something else. You, 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 you have to go and say hi. You, you ask to dance. You have so much fun, actually. So much fun getting to know her, finally. And at the end of the night, you know, you and her are like, oh, so how do we keep in touch here? And, I mean, you know for a fact, <laughs> you have issues. You, have, <laughs> you don't have a phone at home for once, so what are you going to give her? A number of the payphone down the street? Two, you know who her dad is. She may not care who you are, but, you know, she's interested at least. To, you have that to give yourself. But you're looking at her like, ah, you, you know, wait, let's, let's, let's just stop here. Your dad loves you, but your dad will kill me if he knows that I know you. So you're like, you know what, let's just break this here and keep on with our lives and we'll be just fine without each other. So you move on. Now, that said, you know, um, uh, how many years later, maybe well, in my early 20s, 21, by this time, dad has uh, moved to Botswana. Mom is teaching uh, in a high school in Botswana. Dad is teaching at the university there. The whole family is pretty much in Botswana. And um, uh, I'm, I'm thinking, okay, maybe I'll keep my career going and my getting my strings together in Kenya. So I stayed on in Kenya. And, um, you know, you've had your experience of love come, love goes. And, you know, I'm at a party here having fun in my early 20s. And at this party in Nairobi, of course, um, I meet this Ugandan girl, a very, very pretty girl. And I'm thinking to myself, wow, we had so much fun. We really, really hit it off. And the next thing I know is, you know, the party is over, but hey, let's, let's keep in touch here. And again, I still don't have a phone where I live. She doesn't have a phone where she lives. But we discuss um, how we're going to get to meet up at a movie theater in, in about a week's time on a Saturday and, and watch a movie. And um, I, 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 I was, I, in fact, I was surprised because she said, actually, maybe let's postpone it. Let's make it in two weeks time because it, two weeks later, her parents were going to be away visiting some other relatives in, in Uganda. And at that time, I, too, was going to have transport. I was going to have my friend's motorcycle. So I was like, hey, 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 that's even better. Why don't I come and pick you up from home, seeing that you'll be home alone? It was just going to be her and the maid. And she wouldn't have any curfew, so I could bring her home later. So we, we set the date. And again, no phone, so you had to have all your ducks in line. And make sure that on that particular day, that Saturday at 2 o'clock, you're going to be there. And there I was at uh, two on a Saturday at her front door, a nice little duplex. And she had warned me, said, hey, if my, 
if the maid is there and I'm not home, uh, just please tell her to look for me. I'm not far. I'm just down the street. I said, okay, fine, 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 fine. So I ring the doorbell and the maid opens the door. The, you know, she came to the door with a very nice kanga, a little wrap around the waist, a very nice top. And um, I said, uh, Jumbo, and she says, hello. And I said, uh, is this Vivian's house? And she said, yes, yes, yes. So I said, uh, is Vivian home? She says, yes. So I said, um, tell her please that Lunga is here. Um, my name is Lunga and I've come to take her to the, to the movies. So she says, your name is? I said, Lunga. Okay. So she says, okay, wait at the door. Wait right there. So I, 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 I stand um, at the door and this lady walks in. And I start hearing her talking to somebody else. My Luganda is not great, but I understood enough to hear three key words. Omwana and Umusilu and Nyo. And in her sentence, she said something about Omwana, Umusilu, Nyo, 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 Nyo. Is standing at the door. This really stupid kid is standing at the door. And she was telling this other person, we've gotten to that point in our lives that really stupid kids have started coming here to ask to take our daughter out. So I'm thinking, oh, shoot. And just shortly after that, she says, I, I, I hear the, the other person say, I knew you. And she says, I, Simani, I don't know. And I, I'm thinking, oh, shoot. These are, that's not the maid. That's, that's Vivian's mom and dad. Oh, shoot. They're here. And most people would have just turned and run. But I was like, okay, I, I, I need to stand and man this out. So, well, I, I probably had no energy in my legs to run at the time. But anyway, she comes in and, and, and looks at me and says, yes, call him in. Call, tell him to come in. So I come in and she tells me exactly where to stand. And I'm thinking, huh, this, is there some invisible X that I'm standing on that's <laughs> the position, you know, it's far enough from the dad and it's far enough from the mom. But I'm like, maybe the last guy who came here was last seen standing here. And this is where the firing scored. The shooting starts happening here. So I'm like, eh, okay, okay, let me just hold here and then keep myself composed. So meanwhile, the mother goes into the back and starts yelling. Vivian, Vivian, Wanji, Vivian. Who is this boy who's here who's coming here saying that? He's looking. When did boys start coming? And she's like, Mom, 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 no, 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 no. Mom, you know, I think uh, maybe that's my, my friend's brother. Blah, 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 blah. And the mother's yelling, yelling. Meanwhile, the dad is sitting on the couch and he has this newspaper that I thought he would have at least lowered by this moment. He has not even lowered the newspaper. He's not made eye contact with me. And, you know, he's so different from the KPN dad who when I was 15 with my, my with my kikapu coming from the from the kiosk that dad who gave me that stare that's the contact dad who gives you the dagger you will never forget meanwhile this guy the newspaper dad doesn't even look in your direction do you know the, the the contrast between these guys so I'm like hey how do I handle this how do I get some con connection with this guy here you know so I decide to say you know sir how are you and how was your trip um to Uganda. How was Uganda? And he doesn't look at me, but he lowers the newspaper just enough and looks up and says, why are you asking me about Uganda? Sheer. So I said, oh, well, um, I, I used to live there. My family lived in Uganda. In fact, I went to Nakasero Primary School. Then my family moved here. My, my parents uh, used to work in Uganda and we moved here. Now they, 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 they teach um, in, in, in Botswana. My dad is a professor at the University of Botswana and my mother teaches in a high school in, in Botswana. But uh, we lived in Uganda. I, I really love Uganda. I miss Uganda so much. We had such a great time there. So he looks at me. He's like, oh, finally, we get some eye contact. So what were your parents? You said they were, they were, they were doing what? I said, I said, my dad was a professor at Makere University and my mother actually was a, um, a, a, a high school teacher. I'm sorry, an elementary school teacher at Wandegia Primary School. So that's what they were doing at that time. We lived in Uganda, but now they've moved on to Botswana. Mm. And what is the name of your parents? I said, um, Professor David Rubadiri 
and Gertrude Rubadi. So he slowly puts down the newspaper and says, Ah, so, so you're the son of David Rubadi? I said, yes, yes, yes. What is your name? I said, Lunga. So you are Lunga Rubadi? So you saw David, David is in Botswana? But I thought, I thought David had, I thought he had gone to, to Swaziland. Okay, so they are in Botswana. And you are here? I said, yeah, I'm, I'm studying and trying to get my life going and so on. So what you are here to do, to, 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 to take Vivian somewhere? I said, yeah, to, hopefully to take her to the movies. Which one? I said, uh, Breakdance. Oh, Breakdance, very good movie. Very good movie for younger children. So let me get, let me get these people to hurry up. Okay, do you want some water, some sweet juice? Would you want to sit down? I said, no, 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 no. Actually, we want to get good seats. So if we can start going to the movie, I really appreciate that, sir. So he gets up and he goes in the back. Hey, hey, Vivian, be quick, be quick. Your friend is here to take you to the film. And meanwhile, the mother is like, hey, what is going on there? What is happening? No, 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 that is what is son. You have to get the girl ready. Put a good dress. Vivian, you're going to go and watch a break dance. Go quickly. Go get dressed quickly. Meanwhile, the mother's like, what on earth is So they come back into the living room, the dad and mom, mumbling at him. I said, no, 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 son. And the mother just looks at me like, she goes and sits down. Meanwhile, dad said, oh, so how is David? You know, I, 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 I have met him before. We're, I don't know him very well, but you have very good parents. Hmm? Very good parents. So, let, Vivian. So, Vivian comes looking really nice. Oh, my gosh. And um, dad says, well, you kids go and have a good time. We go and watch you break a dance. I said, yes, sir. Thank you so much. I'll, I'll drop her off. Hey, take your time. Ooh. Take your time. Bring her when you when you have had a good time. At the film, go and have something to eat. Come later. Okay? So I said, oh, thank you so much. Thank you so much. And with that, we left. And uh, we went to watch the movie. We had a fantastic time. In fact, I think we had more fun talking and laughing about me meeting her parents like that and how hard it was i mean impossible for her to have warned me beforehand that they had actually not left for uganda but we 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 had a great time and my dad laughed and laughed when i had told him the story i mean at different periods during the day he would just burst out laughing and tell me son i'm still on that story and I said, Dad, what is it? What is it? Seriously. And he said, well, you know, I'm just thinking to myself, while we had moved on to Botswana eh, as a family and left our little son in Kenya trying to figure out his life, he was going on these suicide missions trying to find love. My goodness me. <laughs> so, yes, Dad, this story is dedicated to you. And... Um, my friends, thank you so much for watching. Keep watching. There'll be more coming soon. God bless you.